NSFW, what are you shamefully attracted to? Girls with low self-esteem. I just want to lift them up to the point where they realize they are too good for me. We need to hang out. There is this girl in my chemistry class who is super quiet and has low self-confidence and I love making her laugh or even talk. There is a deaf girl in my chemistry class, she doesn't talk much either. Yeah and she doesn't respond when I ask her a question. Ducking bitch. I'm ashamed that I have a tendency to latch on to even the smallest affection shown me and I hate myself for it. I've never felt like any woman has ever found me attractive or shown much of an interest in me and the only thing that upsets me more than that is that I want it. There's a part of me that deeply desires that validation and is dying of loneliness and it is also something I hate myself for. If I have a pleasant interaction of any sort with someone from the opposite sex I can't stop myself from envisioning what our life together would be like. Duck Jude, sometimes I do this with the girl in the car behind me on the freeway on ramp. Ugh, I'm the same. What's worse is, even if I know said person isn't exactly my type whatever that is, I start justifying her flaws, just so I keep the daydreams of us being together alive versus being alone. I tend to measure my self-worth based on how interesting I'm to others. The way women dress when they are home alone and know they'll be staying in. I love the oversized t-shirt. I love the sweet pants with the two day old beefaroni stain. I love the messy shutty ponytail with the split ends and flyaways sticking out all over the place. Much like Troy from Community, I'd take it over lingerie any day because I just like knowing she's comfortable. If she's a mess and she's happy, so am I. I mean, maybe it's not something shameful, but it's not something you mention. I wanna see you look like shut isn't exactly the most attractive come on, is it? Hey it's me a bag lady. <laughs> Lala Bunny from Space Jam. Also Jasmine when she's in red. Belle in the yellow dress. Edit. Quit sending me Lala Bunny porn. I'm glad this will be buried, but when I was a kid, the reporter from the Skippy the Kangaroo animated series. Yes, she was a kangaroo. Had a crazy ex who not only looked very much like Belle, but she was also her favorite Disney princess. Ever since then, anytime I see Belle, I get a mixture of sadness and a boner. It's morning wood. <laughs> Girls who laugh in a way that suggests mental instability. The most attractive girl I ever knew shook and laughed until every molecule of air in her body was expelled. She sounded like an albatross being forced through a cheese grater, and I loved her for it. Have you ever been to the trailer park? I hear they have a lot of women fitting that description. Men with nice voices, they don't even have to be physically attractive. Which explains me why I used to have a crush on Bumblebee baggage claim. It's great how far off that is from Benedict Cumberbatch, but I still instantly knew who you were talking about. Oh, I thought there was a legitimate airline called Bumblebee with an attractive voice at baggage claim. Trashy girls. Seriously if I see a pretty trashy girl I'm ducked. Dated the pretty slash trashy slash crazy triangle for a little bit in college. Sex was 10 out of 10. Sanity was like 2 out of 10. And that shut becomes a full time job along the way. She's got a drama at 3am and you have to work the next day. Duck you. Get in your car and go rescue her. Did you spend $300 on her birthday in 2 weeks working on the gifts? Duck you. You forgot something that ruined the entire day for her. Are you friends with a woman you've known since you were 8 years old when she used to babysit you? Duck you. You're obviously hooking up with her on the down low. Is her ex in town for a few days and she stops answering her text messages? Duck you. You're a suspicious asshole. Is she pregnant now? Duck you. You're obviously the father even though you've worn a condom every single time. There was a girl in my college chemistry class who had suffered from severe facial burns that were uncorrected. She could best be described as Lisa Kudrow cast in the role of Two-Face or the Nos goddess Hela. To many, she'd be a butterface great body, blonde, one half half of her face was gorgeous. The other half was messed up with calloid tissue, but still largely the same, she had a face. If you didn't get within 50 feet, you'd assume she was just a statuesque blonde girl. I was fascinated and couldn't stop staring. She hated me because she thought I was gawking at her because of her deformity. One of my great regrets is that I never developed the bravery to tell her I was staring because I thought she was fascinating, that she was more beautiful because she was unique. 
You had your chance to hook up with a real life version of Hanako, and you blew it. I bet you would have made her day if you told her that. People can be very self-conscious, and she may be about that sort of injury, probably thinks she's ugly, and would love to hear that she is beautiful, sometimes that's all a person needs to hear. I don't know much from the male side of this, since I'm a male, but so many ladies I've been with are so embarrassed or unpleased with some small defect they have or perceive, and telling them you think they are beautiful regardless really made their day. I want the ever-loving duck degraded out of me in bed. Call me every bad word in the book and that gets me going. I love the idea of a guy having power over me and going rough. Telling me what to do and taking control. Although at an intellectual level I'd be disgusted by a guy who treated me so badly, so it's unlikely I'll find someone who can adequately fulfill that desire and still be a good partner who respects me out of bed. You like that, you ducking retard? Are you ducking sorry? When a girl is a complete wreck and just gives you that look like this is me. There's something about it that is just so attractive and sexy. Hi I'm a complete wreck and have done this before for sure. You mean totally unmade up, hair tangled, etc. Not like her life is a wreck. I mean that is cute as hell as well. But what I mean is like day went to shut and everything seems like it's falling apart and she just wants to give up and doesn't know what to do. So she looks at you for any sort of reassurance or encouragement. Men who can't dance, but still get out there, and shake their asses, and have a good time. Fun plus confidence equals instant sexy. As someone who can't dance at all it's fun to have a few drinks, and make a fool of yourself. Lesbians. I'm only ashamed, because I feel like a duck for how many times I've asked out lesbians. I don't know they're lesbians, when I ask them out, if that makes it any better. There's just something about them, the short hair, tomboyish clothes, confidence in everything they do. I find it insanely attractive. I have the same duck in problem, smh. Why is it so hard to find a straight or bee girl that is tomboyish? Hi, straight girl here, lifelong tomboy. Men's hands. It's weird. I have small hands and there is nothing I can do about it. I hate it so much, but I pretend like it doesn't bother me when the subject comes up. Edit, I'm not Donald Trump. Don't you worry, you still can become president. It's women's hands for me. Welp, we found the ice truck killer. <laughs> Pale girls. Not tanned at all. It's difficult to find porn. I get what you mean. I also find it to be a huge turn on, but hard to find in most porn. Most stars have tan skin. <laughs> Men I don't know. I don't want to get to know them, I just want to have sex with them once. I wanna accidentally bump into them at a store, make eye contact, go bang it out somewhere, and never talk to them again. I dunno, I guess I'm really curious as to what different dudes ducks look like. Prepare your inbox for a flood of duck pics. Edit, I only got one duck pic out of this. You can't say rip your inbox, and not send me a duck pic. Jerks. I wouldn't say I'm exactly ashamed, but I definitely don't advertise that feet are a big turn slash attraction for me, except to random internet strangers. Then it's about all I talk about. My husband didn't tell me about his foot fetish for years cause he thought it'd freak me out. I mean, I have OCD and think feet are weird slash gross as duck, sure. But like, as kinks go, feet aren't that weird. He finally told me, and I was like so, like. Hold on, you want to rub my feet all the time, buy me cute socks and nice shoes, and all I gotta do is let you suck my toes or tie my ankles together so you can duck the arches and I get unlimited foot rubs? I, well yeah, and I'd like to jack off with your socks, the duck didn't you say so sooner? Damn. Like I'm going to turn down unlimited feet massages? I have OCD, but I'm not stupid. Go to town, babe. Bow jobs, giving. For some reason, almost every other person I speak to either detests giving bow jobs and thinks it's gross or is just very indifferent to it. I love it. I even like swallowing. I like just being able to play with it and do whatever I want, like when you eat a popsicle for fun, but I also like when he grabs my hair and basically just ducks my mouth. Do other people's boyfriends just have gross ducks? I don't understand why so many other people don't like it. Z I I P. 
Girls with off-color hair used to be mostly punk chicks. Now there are a lot of cosplay girls that do it too. Nothing turns my head faster than a glimpse of blue, purple, or green hair in a crowd. My husband damn near ducked me into labor when he came home from work and my hair was dyed green. <laughs> Guys who think they have no chance with me or are conventionally unattractive. This is really shutty of me to admit, but through them, I actually feel like I'm pretty. Realistically, I know I have a lot of physical features that people consider attractive, but I never really feel that way about myself unless I'm receiving an obsessive level of devotion. Ugh. You sound exactly like my GF. She said she doesn't date attractive guys anymore because they are so conceited. She wants to be the center of attention. So your GF basically tells you you're ugly? Deep voices. Those deep, rumbly voices that just go straight through you. I'm painfully attracted to a bass voice. Catwoman. Damn 1991 Batman Returns coming out when I started puberty. Ginger boys young men of legal age. I would never tell anyone this, but women dressed as clowns. I'm not sure where or how it started. OG. Confession time. I have a deep, ridiculous, almost weird obsession with chubby guys. I'm not ashamed of liking chubby guys btw, I'm ashamed of the intensity to which I like them. I also feel so guilty about fetishizing them, but I can't help it. I love hugging a chubby guy and feeling them being all soft and cuddly, it makes me weak in the knees and gives me an instant ladabana. I'm sort of on the skinny side, and for some reason, I seem to repel the kind of guys I'm physically attracted to, all of them ignore me and it just makes me want to want them more. FML. As a somewhat chubby guy, I imagine they ignore you, because they assume there's no way in hell you'd be interested. <laughs> Armpits. Only Reddit and the women of my life know. Women. Mother and sister. <laughs> my best friend's girlfriend. Literally always beg him to bring her along. Small ducks. Hello there. What do you define as small? Slightly larger than yours. Hetero. Brother sister incest. Extreme shame. Like. Insecurity level. Beat myself up over it level. Long story. With other girls. Corrupting pure. Sweet girls. Especially if they've never had sex with another girl before. Doubly so if they are virgins. This one girl I hooked up with had never even been undressed in front of someone other than her mom before that point. When she sheepishly lifted up her skirt to show me her pure white panties, I went ducking berserk and rocked her world. I think that was the most passionate cunnilingus I ever gave. <laughs> Venuses. Girls with Venuses. I'm not shameful about it though. Transgeral here. Hi. <laughs> Girls with nice backs. Not overly muscular, but smooth, clear, lightly tanned skin. Some guys are ass men, some are boob men. I'm a back man. Love it and I can't explain why. Once you go back, you never go back. I like my men with a little dash of bastard. I've come to terms with this. I like decisive, determined, passionate men. And there's a little shuffledness that comes along with those trays that I'm not as averse to as Dear B would probably say I should be. I have my downsides too. If he hurts me directly and intentionally, though, it's going down. And I don't mean downtown either.